the health of nations. Far be it from me to be the voice that says that oral arguments are necessarily precursors of opinions to come. Reading the U.S. Supreme Court is a lot like reading tea leaves. What you see is often influenced by what you bring to the task. This is particularly tricky for the Supreme Court, for they are, in truth, not bound by any precedent. Indeed, they are the makers of precedent for the lower courts. Am I suggesting that the court is somehow above politics? Hardly. Of the half-dozen books I've read on the court, most have stated that the justices are intensely political and have always been so. They are, after all, chosen, vetted, and voted for or against by politicians, many of whom decide to support or oppose them based upon their political views and ideology. And far too often, one may predict how they will rule based on their party registration or often the party of the president who names them to the court. This factor informs any analysis of how they'll come out on particularly controversial or political cases, like health care. For conservatives, health care, especially the version signed into law by President Barack Obama, the Affordable Health Care Act, is target one. Derided by critics as European-style socialism, a government mandate, an attack on our freedoms, and shoving it down our throats, they are determined to destroy it, in spite of the fact that it is the very manifestation of a similar plan promoted by the right-wing Heritage Foundation years ago. But law, the saying goes, is but politics by other means. The conservative and neocon movements have set out to lynch Obama's signal presidential achievement, health care. Unless I miss my guess, the Supreme Court will abolish the law as repugnant to the Constitution. And, as I'm already out on a limb, I'll go a few feet farther. The health care bill is declared unconstitutional. The vote, five to four. We shall see. From Imprisoned Nation, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio.